Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another 10 mods that don't really have a lot of downloads, but regardless, they are still very good mods. And just like before, none of these mods will have more than 100,000 downloads. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, the first mod I have for you guys is the Mist Biomes mod, and this mod adds several new biomes to the game, and they're actually identical to the ones in vanilla, except when you're inside of them, there's a very heavy layer of mist, so you can't see very far, and this just overall kind of adds a new little twist to your world. At number 9, we have the Trees of Stages mod, and this mod makes it so when trees grow in your world, they won't instantly become full-grown trees, there's actually stages that they go through, and this is a mod I've wanted to exist for a while, so I'm pretty happy I found it. At number 8, we have the Auto Switch mod, and this mod will automatically switch to whatever tool you need to be using when you're digging, and I actually don't even know how many downloads this mod has because it isn't uploaded on Curse, so you can't really see that information, but it did take me a bit of time to find it, and overall it's a really good mod, so I decided to put it on this list. At number 7, we have the Move Plus mod, and this mod adds several new ways to move in the game. For example, you can double tap any of the movement keys and it'll make you jump in that direction, and you can also climb up to 3 blocks high. Coming in at number 6, we have the Better Diving mod, and this mod adds several features from the game Subnautica into Minecraft, and this makes the oceans in 1.12 look a lot better than they did before. And while they still don't look nearly as good as 1.13, it's at least an improvement. And this mod also adds a bunch of equipment which makes exploring underwater a lot more interesting, so if you're trying to play with mods in 1.12 but you want the oceans to at least be halfway decent, you should definitely install this mod. At number 5, we have the Bagels More, the Return mod, and this mod adds a new, completely modular desk to the game. For example, you can add a drawer which can contain liquids, and it also has a built-in crafting table which will actually show you what's on top of it, and you can leave the things on the crafting table. And overall, it's just a really functional and nice-looking addition to the game. At number 4, we have Render360, and this mod lets you set your field of view all the way up to 360 degrees, and by the time you get to this kind of field of view, you pretty much feel like you're going to pass out while you're playing. But regardless, it looks really cool, and this could actually be pretty helpful for those of you that want to go above 110. Coming in at number 3, we have Mutant Mobs, and this mod adds several new creatures to the game, which are pretty much just super powerful versions of their vanilla selves. And this mod actually reminds me of the old mod Mutant Creatures, which is definitely a good thing because that was a great mod. Coming in at number 2, we have Wizards Animals, and this mod adds over 80 new creatures to the game, and so that really surprises me that it only has 1500 downloads, because all of the models in this mod look really good, in fact, I think it looks better than a lot of mods that are ahead of it. Finally, coming in at number 1, we have General Disasters mod, and this mod allows allows several different disasters to happen in your world, and these are sinkholes, earthquakes, and volcanoes, and all of these disasters are really well done, especially the volcanoes, which are really cool when they actually happen, and personally, I believe this mod definitely deserves a top spot. Alright, that's the end of this video, and if there's any other mods you'd like me to check out, definitely post them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to check those out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.